Hi, I want to show you what an Amazon Delivery Service Provider or DSP Dispatcher sees when they're following you throughout the day as an Amazon driver. So you can see here, this is the software that Amazon provides each DSP and the dispatcher can look at this while the day is going on and see the progress of each driver and, um, and kind of see all the routes and whether whether people are ahead or behind or if they're having problems and and they can drill down exactly where they are having problems so you can see that this uh, DSP has 47 routes today and 38 are in progress so nine people have already come back um, one's at risk we'll we'll see how that one's not really at risk it's kind of a system error but the overall all status they've got 2200 packages left um, for the day and you can see that this updates constantly as uh, as the day goes on so one's been marked undeliverable uh, 22 reattemptable that means could have could have been a no safe place no safe location and they tried calling the customer and they're going to come back and try again and two have been returned to the station and four four packages were marked missing so um, one of the most interesting parts of, of this is the map. You can see where all the drivers are on the map. And you can zoom in and see the exact, loca the, the exact location of where each driver is. So uh, if you click on this one, it'll, this is where the station is, and this is where all of their deliveries are today. So the blue ones are the ones that they have yet to do and the numbers indicate the stop numbers and the itinerary which relate to these stops over here and the the gray um, the gray numbers are ones that this driver has already done. So you can see that most of the deliveries are in a, in a very small compact area. So it's not like they're driving all, ac all across town. Most Amazon routes um, are pretty close together. Now that's not true of an Amazon Flex route where it could be much more spread out but generally for Amazon DSPs the routes are pretty close together or the stops are pretty close together. So we can go back and let's, uh, let's look at this one here. Here's another one. So there's a uh, they had an unscheduled stop, so they probably stopped at a convenience store or something before they got into got into the day. I can I can mouse over this and see exactly they arrived at this stop at 11:57 and 12:06. So yes, this was a stop at a convenience store on their on their way to their to the to their first stop. So here in the left column, the Amazon Dispatcher can see all of the stops that were scheduled and remember they are scheduled in a, in a particular order. The driver can jump around but um, in their itinerary but um, this itinerary will always stay in the same order as far as display. So I can keep zooming in here and if I want to I can see the satellite view which helps sometimes to to find if the if the driver calls and um, the dispatcher might be able to help. For instance, in this apartment complex, maybe maybe they can't find the the exact apartment or whatever. And and the driver has a, a similar view in there in the Flex app, but there's it's easier to see and it's a larger display and more detail in the dispatcher version that we're looking at here. I can also see the driver trace view so I can see exactly the route that they took through this um, through this apartment complex for instance so this this includes not just the route that the van took but this is actually the route of the phone of the flex app that the driver was holding so you can see them walking around the apartment complex and finding each location and trying to figure out here it looks like they're trying to figure out where to go and um, so that that uh, that can help the dispatcher kind of troubleshoot 
problems that the driver's having and and parking in a better in a good spot and finding um, and finding each door to deliver to and you can see you can you have this they have this heat heat map view as well you can see where they spent the most time so I can zoom back out of that and you can see all the all the stops that they had or where they where they stopped the van for the longest time not just the van but where they were so that's a that's a view um, kind of, of of what Amazon dispatch sees uh, of, a, of a route let's go look at at some others here you can see here's the unscheduled stop this was the was the stop at the convenience store which is totally fine you're, you're allowed two 15 minute breaks and a 30 minute lunch um, just be aware that the dispatcher knows exactly how long you've stopped. So this this driver here they had a stop of 47 minutes. So I'm not sure what was going on there. If, um, if they had some kind of problem, you can see they're only five ahead. So that when you stop for that long, it really can impact your uh, your stats and how and whether you're ahead or behind. So this one had a has a really interesting driver trace where they obviously got had some trouble here in this apartment complex trying to figure out where the where the door was. Uh, they had to stop out here at a business and then or at one corner that and then um, and then couldn't apparently had trouble finding this other one and and the same with this delivering to this this is a high school and kind of drove see drove this way and then all the way around the block it looks like and then did a u-turn then came back to the final and figured out where the front door I happen to know that this this driver had never been had never delivered to this area before so it's sometimes when you're first delivering to a building it's hard to figure out where the uh, front door is and and actually on this high school I know the front door is right here where this pin is but obviously with COVID restrictions a lot of the delivery requirements have changed so they um, probably had to deliver to a back door or a, sh or a shipping a shipping entrance or something like that so if the dispatcher wants to know more stats about each route they just roll over the bar here and it'll show how many stops completed, how many uh, how many total, how many remaining, how many packages they have. Um, this one has one reattemptable one, so let's go ahead and look at that. So this one multiple statuses, business closed. So that must be the one that's being marked as reattemptable. So if, so they could just go look at all the reattemptables and see which drivers have those. So there are several business closed ones. Address not found. Um, inaccessible delivery location. No secure location. Locker issue. Sometimes there's issues uh, delivering to to Amazon lockers or third-party lockers. And here's a whole bunch of locker issue ones. So lots of times you'll, in fact, this is the same one, different driver, but uh, see at the uh, same at the same location, but different driver. They had they both both of these drivers had issue had locker issues so the locker could be filled and they'll have to come back later um, or something like that so inaccessible delivery location there's a couple of those so that's what that's the reattemptable ones here's undeliverable Let's see. Was delivery attempted can't find address so on all of these um, you know when if you can't find the address there you're supposed to call the customer 
and you can see the note there was there was no note on this well address is missing a letter in the street name and the correct address is located okay on on a place that's not that we can't actually get to so I could just look at um, the routes that are in progress well, let's look at this one that's in yellow so this driver I happen to know it's all you see it says um, not available minutes left so there's something with this driver's file this driver always gets this message and it always is showing like a few behind but um, they're well within the time frame here in fact you can look it's supposed to take them five hours and, and six minutes to deliver this and deliver all these packages it's uh, 110 stops and 162 packages, which is a small route. This driver happens to be very fast, but they always have this yellow. Have, they're always in yellow because there's some some problem with the system. So one of the other interesting things is you can see Amazon for every route. This one is uh, Amazon has an estimate for how long it's going to take you. So this one five hours and 45 minutes for this route. Um, five hours and 42 minutes and this route five hours and nine minutes so it, it doesn't take a full 10 hour day today they have a fairly light load five hours and 38 minutes sometimes some days though everyone's at like eight and nine hours and then when you add in lunch and breaks and then and travel time to get to and from the station you're at 10 hours but this is a fairly light day you know five hour and so um, Amazon comes to this to this time five hours twenty nine minutes because it knows kind of the history of delivering to these to each of these locations how long it takes to drive between all these stops and um, and kind of the average and, and what to expect for each one. So it's not it's not a random number and. And it's just, and but it is just a guideline. See some other things to show you. So in the in the morning, the dispatch will come in, and they will, and drivers will automatically be assigned to a route that the computer built. For the most part, DSPs are not supposed to be switching you, switching drivers from one route to another, and if they are. They are um, they're kind of defeating the purpose of, of the algorithm and the system to, to try to optimize the driver for the route. There, supposedly, there is some optimization going on. It knows that you're faster in this area and, and the, another driver might be faster and more familiar with another area. And so it, it does try to, with, with the latest routing system, routing 3.0, Amazon is trying to put the same drivers in the same area so that they become more familiar with it, they become familiar with the customers and where to stop and where to park and that just makes everything faster and easier and and friendly for the customers if if the customer becomes more um, more familiar with the driver and uh, and I think that's a good thing. So this is just uh, just an overview of the system, the software that dispatchers, Amazon dispatchers see when they're when you're out on your daily route.